looking for work. It can be one of the most exciting and challenging things we do in our lifetime. If you're age 16 to 35 and live in the Haut Saint Francois region of Quebec and need some help or support as you navigate your way through the job market, well, this episode is for you. Hi again, my name is Ed Humphrey and welcome to a new episode of About Townshippers. Now during each episode, we put a, a spotlight on the organizations and the individuals that really make a difference by working both with and for the English speaking communities of the Eastern Townships. I'm sure you agree that employment and employability are huge priorities for, well, for all of us, no matter what language we speak. And for English speakers living here in the Eastern Townships in a minority context, well, being able to work in English can make a huge and, and positive difference in our lives. So it's nice to know where to go when we need some support as we, well, as we navigate the job market both during and after COVID-19. So with that in mind, I recently sat down with Judith Olson, who is the Intervention Services Coordinator at the Café Jeunesse Emploi du Haut Saint-François. Now, they are one of many dynamic uh, employment centers that offer a huge variety of services to people aged 16 to 35 who need help looking for work, maybe modifying their resume, uh, preparing for an interview, trying to decide whether they want to go back to school or not, and well, the list is really long. So grab a pen or a pencil and let's jump into the conversation. Well, good afternoon, Judith. It's really good to see you today. Good to see you, Ed. I'm glad you, you accepted my, my invitation. So we're going to be Zooming for a couple seconds or a couple minutes. Yes. Now, a lot of people know, some people don't, that the uh, Carrefour Jeunesse Emploi uh, are employment centers that are situated all throughout the great province of Quebec and in all our MRCs. And of course, today we're going to be talking about uh, the Carrefour Jeunesse Emploi du Haut Saint-François. And uh, I'd like to get a bit of an idea of, of the mandate and the objectives of your organization. Mm -hmm. CGE serves 14 municipalities in the Haut Saint Francois. The mission is to support youth between 16 and 35 years old um, in their social and professional goals and to be there in their transition in, in their life. Could you give us an idea of some of the services and programs that you, you offer? Um, particularly to the English-speaking uh, communities? Mm. All our services are available to the English speakers. And we have different services. Uh, in the work field, we help them create a resume or cover letter, or be prepared for the mock, mock interview, or to explore their strength and be able to identify them, and to undertake professional or personal projects. And we help them, uh, support them to stay in school or choose a program and to be able to balance work and study that fits in their lives too. Oh, work, work and work, study balance. I, yes. once again, I could have used you, I could use your services <laughs> <laughs> often in my life. Um, now you mentioned the mock interview. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? Do you guys actually sit down and, and, and pretend to to be uh, an employer with an employee? How does that work? We really want to uh, prepare the person for to, um, all the questions that maybe they will pass through the interview. And sometimes we offer them to film with a camera and so that they can see themselves uh, in the nonverbal way. And maybe sometimes we speak too fast or the, the, the response is not clear enough. And we pass um, all the steps for the preparation. Uh, and maybe in two weeks, the, the person is, uh, is uh, prepared with the CV, the resume, and she, she's able to shine. Yes. And that, that's an important word. Now, the goal is to shine, not only before we get the job, I guess, but also you know, once we have the, the job. Yes. Oh, okay. Now, how do people find the, the video process? Do they, do they enjoy being filmed or is it difficult? <laughs> Sometimes they are shy, um, but when we do the interview, it's so real that the person forgets the camera. She doesn't bother with that. Okay. Yeah. Well, kind of like, like what we're doing today. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, now, say for example, I'm 24 years old. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not in school anymore. I've had a couple jobs, but I don't really know what I want to do. And I know that you guys offer services. I know that you can help me. What can I expect when I, you know, when I knock at the door of the CGE du Saint François? You can expect that uh, somebody will be there for you. That we can sit down with the person and really uh, discuss what is her need, uh, what did she, what does she want uh, in the present? And sometimes we don't know what we want, but we want to change something in our lives, and we will be there for them. Yeah, for sure. And it's not. Um, sometimes it takes time. So sometimes we see the people six months or one year to really understand and really um, take the time that she needs to do the transition. So it's not a, it's not a, a two day process. No, it is not. Okay. There's so many things that happens between 16 and 35 that we take the time uh, that we need. Okay. Well, that's really good to know because I, Sometimes it's easy to think that, oh, no, it's a, we'll, we'll knock on the door, or they'll meet us, and two days later we come up with a, a new resume and a new attitude and the, all, the, all the answers. Yeah. But th that's not the case. Okay. No, because sometimes we need to explore uh, other things in our life to uh, make a, a better decision. Okay. Now, of course, you guys have been closed for a while because of COVID-19. A lot of everything's been closed, actually. Yeah. Now, um, in this new context in this COVID-19 context, yeah. are there any specific employment challenges that are new or that are really sticking out or that have come to the forefront? Yeah, it's the movement of the uh, activities working uh, field that has changed. Uh, for the employee side, um, there's more um, qualified employees that are unemployed. And so the um, the, the employees, uh, the recruitment is uh, done more slowly. This is a, a match that is more difficult now. And uh, some employees had to cut their staffs too. And there's, which leads to several uh, job loss. And some will not be able to reopen. So this is hard um, because the, you lose the, the exchange with the job field because if you, if you have, if you work there, now you're unemployed and your enterprise is closing, what do you do? So this is a challenge. And for the job seekers, uh, the market labor has changed too because people had to learn quickly how to work at home with the technologies and therefore to find a balance with the work and family reality because the school was, uh, was closed too. And the employment rate has increased. So therefore, there are less jobs available compared to the number of job seekers. So it will be very important in the, 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 the next year that job seekers be more prepared, have a clean resume, um, so that they, they can take their place in the market labor. Because uh, it, it, it has changed. And that's where and you guys come in. That's where your work becomes so much more important. Yes, and nobody could... Um, could uh, I don't have any magical thing that uh, could tell me that all the, the market uh, world would change like that. Well, it's really interesting that you mentioned that because, you know, six months ago, less than six months ago, it was the opposite. Throughout exactly. most of Quebec, in certain sectors, there was way more jobs for, than there were em employees. Yes. And employers were increasing their, their salaries that they were offering. They were offering training. They were offering to hire people that weren't even trained, they would train them on site. And so now who, who could have known, like you say, that it would be just flipped on its head? Yes, and it's a, a very a scary transition and job seekers want to have more advantage, social advantage at their work. Uh, so if they're sick, if they, uh, they had to uh, uh, have vacancy for their children, they're, they're thinking at that if, uh, when they apply at the, for another job because of the pandemic. Wow. It's a really big reflection. Yeah. That's huge. So, so any work that they can, any help that they can get redoing their resume, learning how to do an interview, you know, maybe changing their attitude about how they, 
they look for work and uh, where yes. to look for work. So that's really where I would assume that's where you guys come in. Yes, we want to help them to go through that. It's an exceptional uh, situation that we are living now. So you guys are going to, like I said earlier, you guys are going to be very busy in the, in the coming months, in the coming year. Yes, we are. <laughs> we want to be there for, for the people. Well, and that's actually why we're talking today. So we can kind of get the word out and, and talk about the, uh, the services that are available. Now, what's the best way for someone to get in touch with the uh, CGR du Saint-Francois? The best way is by phone. The number is 819-832-1513. And so the, the people can have an appointment or, and see a counselor. After that, the best way is by our website. You can go, you can contact us uh, by the section, contact us to get an appointment by email. And you can see uh, on our Facebook uh, the address of all the activities at the CGO. Okay, so there's, a, there's, a, there's several different ways to, to get a hold of you. And now you yes. guys have been closed for a while, but uh, you're, you're opening up quite soon, so we can actually knock on your door and... It's better to call us. Okay. You have an appointment, and after that, you can knock on our door. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm glad you specified that. Well, Judith Olson, you are a coordinator of uh, intervention services at Le Café Jeunesse Emploi du Haut Saint-François. You've been very kind uh, and patient with me today. I'm glad you took the time. And, I'm glad uh, that you invited me. <laughs> well, you, you, you've made it really easy. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put out all the information so people can get a, get in contact with you or or your colleagues. Yes. And the only thing I have to do now is is thank you for your time and uh, and wish you a great and healthy week. Thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Le Carrefour Jeunesse Emploi du Haut Saint François, a welcoming and dynamic resource to help you with your employment needs. If you live in the Haut Saint Francois region, well, you can contact them by phone to make an appointment, and you can also check out their website, and you can follow them on Facebook as well. Now, if you live elsewhere in Eastern Townships, well, contact the Carrefour Jeunesse Emploi closest to you, and they will be more than pleased to help you with your employment needs. My name is Ed Humphrey. Thank you very much for spending a bit of your time with us today, and we're going to be back with you really soon with a new episode of About Townshippers. Take care.